Graduation day is always a day of rejoicing for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of another more uncertain and more difficult part of one's quest for a better life and future. Truly, today marks the most exciting part of our lives as learners and teachers of this school year. It signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge that will enable a person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. It shows perseverance and patience we have in education amid pandemics. Schools, administrators and staff, faculty members, parents, students, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony of Hingatungan Elementary School for the school year 2021-2022 with a theme to 12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. May I request everyone to stand for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem by the Multimedia Presentation and please remain standing for the opening prayer by John Alexander Doliente followed by the original hymn. Mga Kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, Diyos ang sigatanan, Palam ng puso, Sa titik mo'y buhay, Upang hinihiram, Kuyang ka ng magiting, Sa manlulupin, Di ka pasisigil, Sa nagatak, Tutok sa simoy at sa nanit,
My warmest greetings to the school officials, administrators, faculty members and advisors, teachers, parents, and guardians of the graduates and completers of school year 2021-2022. On behalf of the Department of Education, I am proud to celebrate the successes milestones and achievements of this batch graduates and promoted students in this year's end of school year rights with the theme k-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity in the past six years we committed to our mandate to enhance the quality of education broaden its access and ensure its relevance in the rapidly changing world. DeepEd endeavored to address each challenge by instituting programs and reforms in the department. We have fully implemented the K-12 curriculum and the aggressive reforms of Solong Educalidad to produce globally competitive learners and teachers. We also expanded our mission 
for accessible education by strengthening the Alternative Learning System, ALS, and the Last Mile Schools programs to reach more Filipinas. Likewise, we also established the National Academy of Sports, NAS, and Education Futures Unit to create more opportunities for our learners and anticipate the future of the education system in the country. Committed to sustaining this momentum, the department developed and implemented the Basic Education Learning Continuity Program, BELCP, where we offered various learning modalities and produced award-winning initiatives such as the DepEd TV and DepEd Commons at the height of the pandemic. Eventually, the department held its ground against an unprecedented challenge in basic education as we progressively expand the reintroduction of face-to-face -face classes in the country. Indeed, education is truly a shared responsibility. This is why we express our utmost appreciation to our dear parents and teachers for being our partners in nurturing the youth throughout the years. To the class of 2022, resilience is in your blood. You have survived one of the toughest times in human history, yet still embraced education as your primary tool to success. I believe that with your passion and purpose, you can reach your dreams and change the world. May you keep on harnessing and imparting wisdom as together, we will build a nation of competent global citizens and future leaders. Leonor Magtoles Briones, Secretary of Education. Republic of the Philippines Department of Education, Region 8, Eastern Visayas. Isang mainit na pagbati sa mga nagsipagtapos ng kindergarten at elementarya ngayong taong 2022. Ang higit sa dalawang taong pakikibaka laban sa isang pandaigdigang krisis ay isa sa pinakamahirap ngunit pinakapakipakinabang ng mga taong naranasan natin. Bagamat sinubok ng pandemya, lahat kayo ay nantiling matatag, nagtyaga at nagpatunay sa inyong mga sarili sa pamamagitan ng pagsusumikap, dedikasyon sa inyong pag-aaral at suporta ng inyong pamilya at mga mahal sa buhay. Sa kabila ng malalaking hamon sa sektor ng edukasyon, sinikap ng DepEd na maipagpatuloy ang edukasyon sa gitna ng pandemya sapagkat kinikilala nito ang pangunahing karapatan ng bawat bata na matamasa ang sapat at tikalidad na edukasyon. Isang karangalan na maging bahagi kami sa inyong paglalakbay tungo sa pagkamit ng inyong mga pangarap. Ang inyong pagtatapos sa kindergarten o elementarya ay simbolo ng inyong hindi matatawarang katatagan at kasipagan. Ang tema sa taong ito, graduate na K-12, masigasig sa mga pangarap at matatag na mga pagsubok. Ay patunay na walang krisis ang makikisira sa inyong mga pangarap at hindi kayo magagapi anumang hamon ang kaharapin ninyo sa buhay. Saludo ako sa inyong katatagan. Isang malaking hakbang tungo sa paggamit ng inyong mga pangarap ang inyong pagtatapos ngayong taon. Naway baodin ninyo ang mga aral ng mga nagdaang taon at gawin itong inspirasyon upang mas lalo pang patatagin ang inyong pundasyon ng panghabang buhay na pagkatuto. Ang daang tatahaki ninyo sa susunod na antas ng edukasyon ay puno ng iba't ibang hamon. Asahan ninyo na nakaalalay ang DepEd sa lahat ng oras at hindi titigil sa pagtugon sa anumang hamon 
sa pamamagitan ng pagpapatupad ng mga programa na may kinalaman sa pagpapaunlad ng kalidad na edukasyon. Sa mga magulang at mahal naming mga guro, malaking papel ang inyong ginagampanan upang ihanda ang kinabukasan ng ating mga mag-aaral sa kabila ng mga hamong dala ng kasalukuyang krisis sa kalusugan. Maraming salamat sa inyong walang humpay na suporta sa DepEd at sa mga programa nito. Sa BATS 2021-2022, andito na kayo, nagsumikap at nakamit ang inyong layunin. Masigit ninyong linangin ang inyong mga kakayahan, lalong ipagpatuloy ninyo ang inyong edukasyon. Saan man kayo, dalhin ang inyong mga pangarap, kasama ninyo ang aming mga panalangin. Muli ang aking pinakamainit na pagbati. Evelyn R. Fitalvero, CESO 4, Regional Director. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Region 8, Schools Division of Southern Leyte. To the class of 2022, congratulations! This year's graduation theme, K-12 graduates, pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity, augurs well with the saying, kites fly higher against a strong wind from COVID-19 pandemic to the onslaught of Typhoon Udet. You have made it through the school year with challenges and changes that we never could have imagined. I admire all of you, students and parents alike, that we could get through these very tough days together. Thank you for your resilience, for your patience, for your flexibility, for your willingness to help your teachers in making basic education happen. You will always be known as that class that persevered and graduated in the midst of a global health crisis and typhoon death. Thank you too to our teachers, support staff, and school leaders. What a wonderful committed group of people you are. I have heard from some of you about the extraordinary hardship you endured to put our learners first. Thank you for your commitment, for your patience in making the very best of this difficult and probably less than perfect transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online and fully remote instruction and back to limited face-to-face -face classes. To the parents, community leaders, and other stakeholders, your spirit has been challenged in extraordinary ways, yet you come together as a community. I am moved by the overwhelming support you extended to us during our most difficult times. To the strongest, most resilient, and brave graduating class in our memory, I believe you will achieve your dreams being the most tested cohorts. When you go through many sufferings, pain, and tests in life, continue to trust and obey God. I wish you the very best in all of your endeavors. Again, congratulations! This day will be noted as one of the rare moments because today, we will be inspired by our invited guest who is an alumnus of the institution and a pride of Hingatungan Silago Southern Leyte. She is a woman with pride and dignity. Her hard works and dedication resulted to how successful she is. A 34-year-old successful woman who graduated her elementary years here in Hingatungan Elementary School. She finishes her high school at Sisters of Mary School, then graduated her tertiary at Southwestern University. She works as a volunteer nurse at the RHU Aboyo, and currently, she is the one and only CEO of JP Cycle Bikes and Accessories and Tulang Bike. 
a dreamer before, then she strives hard to achieve it, and now a successful one. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Miss Janice Rapada Tayo. I am gratefully honored to have the privilege speaking in front of younger grades of today's commencement exercises. To the school principal, Dr. Grace Joy M. Solis, teaching staff, supportive parents, visitors, and dear graduates, a pleasant day to all of us. First of all, congratulations graduates and to your proudest parents and teachers. With this graduation team, graduate ng K-12, masigasig sa mga pangarap, at matatag sa mga pagsubok. It aims to recognize that despite the risk and uncertainty brought by the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the challenges it has posed to education, our Filipino learners remain resolute and their desire to build a better future anchored in a vision. Now, let me ask you graduates, are you all ready to enter high school life? If yes, then good. Well, 22 years ago, I was just like you. Clueless, but full of dreams. I was happy and excited, but kubaan pod ko. Kubaan ko sa ang kaong maon, kung maka-uskwila pa ba ko, or makahuman ba ko uskwila sa high school, tungod sa kalisod sa kinabuhi sa among pamilya. During my elementary days, then he sang at Ungan Elementary School from grade 5 to grade 6. Dili ko on student, kay siguro tungod, pero ni ko absent. Absent ko, dili tungod kay magsigi ko laag. Mo absent ko tungod kay mabantay sa mga manghod, kay sila mama o papa mamaliw sa bukid. By the way, Walumi ka maigsuon, ako ang kinamagwangan. Moabsin ko, kay mas piliun na hong manginhas or manimin para makatabang sa ang ginikanan panudaan na mo. Kujug ang mga manghod na ami sa hunasan, idunga na ho ang mga panginhas o pagbantay nila. Makahinumdom ko, muangkat pa ko ay skindi ni Ma'am Melly Macol, para ibalik dyan na ako sa eskwilahan para lamang na ako'y bawon. Mamayabas, babayloan o papel. Ahong parents, dili pabaya na mo. Bisandaghan mi. Makakaon mi three times a day. Tungod ko gihan po sila. Dili lang na ako kaya makitaan na ahong kinikana nagkalisod Matag-adlaw tungod sa kadaghan na mo. Maong pariha sa kay daro ninyo, ako dako na kong pangandoy sa kinabuhi. I pray to God, natabangan mi makalikwas sa kalisod. O gidungog sa ginawa nga ang pag-ampo. I passed the scholarship sa Sisters of Mary for high school. Gipungan ko sa ginikanan pag sa Sisters of Mary tungod kay mingawon sila. Matod pa nila, kaya amin nila paskilahon, kay maning kamot sila. Pero ako desidido ko sa ahong mga pangandoy. Gusto ko makahuman high school nga mabawasan ang ilang gasto sa pagpaskwila. Sumo to, naskwila ko sa Sisters of Mary, sa Cebu, nga bitbit ahong mga pangandoy sa kinabuhi. Lajo sa pamilya. Kamingaw ang gibati matag-adlaw. Magsigi ko hilak sa kamingaw. Sa ako mama o papa. O sa ako mahigsoon. Tungod kay Permi musod sa akong utok ang kalisod o pagpaningkamot sa among ginikanan. Kada adlaw. O makaigon ko nga puhon makatabang ra ko nila. So guys, kamo, 
na manchud mo mga gusto maabot sa kinabuhi o usahay mawad ang tagpaglaong tungod sa mga sitwasyon padayon padayon kay tan tanan pagsuway lamang just think of your parents huna huna ah ang ilang mga paningkamot para ninyo so after ko na graduate sa high school God bless me with so much blessing. Kagipaskwila ko sa ahong buutan na antig o angkol sa college. I took up Bachelor of Science in Nursing sa Southwestern University. Always thankful and grateful ko sa ilang kamadyo hantod ka ron. Fast forward ta. Moto ni graduate ko ang kaingon ko after graduation sa college. Mas dali ang life kay naanay na human. Pero life really is uncertain. Nag-volunteer nurse ko sa Aritsyo Abuyog after nag-graduate ko sa college. I face so many challenges and pressure in life. Tungod kay ako ang kinamagwangan at wala pa ko'y tarong income. After I took the board exam, which I failed, Nag-work ko sa Tiromo, Philippines, sa Laguna. And wala ko'y natigom at tuntunguda. Kay sige ko padala sa ako pamilya. During those hard times sa ako life, I always prayed Jude sa ginoo. Na i-guide ko sa ang kinabuhi. Ang ginahuna na ako nga puhon. Everything will make sense. Until nga nag-decide ni year 2015, sa ang uyab nga si Paul tulang na mag-business mi sa among puhunan nga gamay. Nag-start mi sa tulo ka bike nga among gibalig dya o karunaan na mi upat ka branches nga bike shop and soon, hopefully, sa Aboyog branch. Sa mga nanguta na on sa sekreto sa business, ang tubag na mo, pasensya o kinalan maning kamot. Pasensya tungod kay dili ura-ura da ihatag sa ginoo ang para nimo. Dili da dyan ihatag sa ginoo ang imong mga pangandoy. Daghan kapagian ng mga pagsuway pag umuabot ang puhon para nimo. Paningkamot o padayon tungod kay anha magsugod ang tanan. Nagsugod ni sa among negosyo nga online selling sa bike. Oil expato sa una year 2015, dili pa uso ang Shopee ang Lazada. Hamtod ni sugal mi, kay ang pagnegosyo mura magsugal, pwede ka mapildi. We both decided na ipadaplin sa among mga professions. Bisan dili mi sigurado sa among sudlan. Nasalig mi sa usag-usa, and the rest kay history na. God moves in mysterious ways, Jude. Always grateful and thankful. If you wanted to change your life, you must not stop believing yourself. And you must grind every single day. Dream big, work harder. Kay puhon makahuman ramog skwila. Kay puhon makatrabaho mo. Kay puhon magkanegosyo mo. O puhon, you will be okay. And puhon, you will achieve your dreams. So graduates, kung naamoy mga pangandoy nga puhon sa kinabuhi, padayon lamang o isalig sa ginuwang tanan. We can't be what we are now if we don't have God in our hearts. Let us put God in everything we do. So thank you. And once again, congratulations, graduates. Moving on, our dedicated and compassionate teachers of Hingatungan Elementary School who are behind the success of this event. Fulan Grace B. Rioteros. Kenna C. Isik. Catherine Joy T. Orpin. Jinky L. Cruzada Aileen D. Catalonia Maricel S. Dolieta Mervy V. Isi Rowena T. Bacana Pinky F. Bede Marieta G. Tagnipis V. 
Vivian Y. Cuevas, Jeremy B. Cruzada, Niel M. Lebatini, Mrs. Grace Joy M. Soles, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of grade 6 Gumamela students of Ingatungan Elementary School the school year 2021-2022, composed of 16 boys and 8 girls who have satisfactorily completed the elementary course as prescribed by the Department of Education this 27th day of July in the year of our Lord 2022. Mrs. Grace Joy and Solace, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of Grade 6 Section Sampagita of Ingatungan Elementary School this school year 2021-2022, composed of 16 boys and 8 girls who have satisfactorily completed the elementary course as prescribed by the Department of Education this 27th day of June in the year of our Lord. By the authority vested in me by the Department of Education, through so our Department Secretary, Leonor Magdolis Briones, through so our Regional Director, Evelyn R. Picalavero, through so our Schools Division Superintendent, Janice Ismoralios, and to so our District in Charge, Albert. T. Hetis, I, as the school head of Hingatungan Elementary School, I hereby confirm these 32 males and 16 females candidates for graduation as graduates of school year 2021-2022. Tan Stephen Taro, with high honor. Tan Angel Biloy with high honors. Doliente John Alexander Rivera with high honors. Pasco John Vincent Pagalpan with honors. Perez Ray Marque Hadlukon with honors. Ambrad Kaila Jel Abdo with honors. Hadlukon Jimalin Montajes with honors. Hapitan Angel Abdo with honors. Biloy Era D with honors. Davo Rico Tuslo with honors. Anduyon Avrilin Fortaleza with honors. Dilus Reyes Rico Napoles with honors. To Slope Chris Mark Jr. Dayo with honors. Filizarta Eugene McKinley with honors. Patunilik Jumel Tulang with honors. Patunilik Princess May Tulang with honors. Beloy Adrian T. Vitoy Saldi O. Danav Kent Jason A. Davo Gian Carlo. Davo Marvin T. De La Cruz Kiara May S. 
Doliente Kenneth T. Finizarta Hiron J. C. Fortaleza Clifford G. Fortaleza Daisy Lynn H. Gonzales Jareth A. Guarino Ray F. Watas Jumil S. Watas Paul Denver O. Ladika Gary Jr. C. Ladika Shamel M. Lariba Eliza May P. Maupoy Sophia Feli L. Maupoy Zarina Fay L. Mondihar Axel U. Nakar Linich and G. Orpio Binji Jr. J. Padil Frederick A. Itakurin Daryl F. Rivera Darius F. Salvani Kaini Shelby L. Serranio Eliza May G. Tuslo Ayan A. Troyo RJ T. Troyo Ayan Lester L. Troyo John Ray C. Troyo Isabel E. And now for this moment, let us all hear the farewell message from one of the graduates, Mr. Stephen Tan. Imagine how calmly with you in the classroom. Sadly, you slowly could experience some of the activities we do during the school year. However, great, this loss is to not define us anymore than the one loss defines a learning profit Instead, this graduation ceremony recognizes a series of commendable achievements for those who receive diplomas today. This pandemic has not wiped out our childhood achievements or destroyed our spirit and talent. It simply diverted them to the pursuit. Dear parents, thank you for your continued support. During these difficult times, you are always there as our learning companion. Your teachers, thank you for guiding us efficiently. Farewell. Wherever you are, remembering our beloved Alma Mother has ensured greater success for us. To all, a pleasant goodbye. Thank you and God bless everyone. Dang, dang, dang.
ang oras na tayo ay magwawalay upang lakbayin ang landas patungo sa ating bukas masakit man sa damdamin iwanan ang nakaraan ngunit dahil sa munting pangarap kailangan nating maglakbay